The quickest way to edit your repeating group data is to actually display it into a pop-up, make the changes, and then close that pop-up. Let me demonstrate. So here we have a repeating group users, and I've created a pop-up to enable us to change the job title of these particular people. Over in the editor, here is the pop-up. But how do we show the right user in that pop-up? Because the data source is set to nothing at the moment. So what I'm going to do is grab a material icon. You can use a default bubble icon. I prefer the look of these. I'm just going to drop it in the corner. I'm going to change this to a pencil. and change the color. And I'm just going to close this down slightly. Just to create space for that pencil icon, might make it a bit smaller. Get that right in the corner there. And I'm just going to put a group around it so that bubble recognizes it as a clickable element. Okay and make sure the group around your icon is set to the current cells user. So now we're going to start edit the workflow. And if we say show the pop-up, let's quickly see what happens. Okay, let's take Amy Johnson. I click the pencil icon. I have a pop-up with no data. And this is where we need to display data into that pop-up. And display data you'll be using often to move pieces of data around your groups and pop-ups. So back on the group holding the pencil, we're going to add a new step one down in element actions, and that's called display data. All right, so we're basically, we are basically pushing data into the pop-up, and that's current cells user. Now we can show the pop-up, and that will be populated with that particular user. So Jamie Jackson, here's her data. Let's try Caleb Carrera. And there's his data. Now, what about edit, editing the data? So I'm going to go back to the pop-up. First of all, I'm just going to change this to be center. Okay, so we are only changing the job title. So I put an input into this group, which is set to parent groups user. The pop-up itself has no data source because we are displaying data into the pop-up. So it needs to be empty to receive data. Once that's received data, we can then push that data into this group through parent group's user. Then I have an input, which initial content is set to the parent group user's job title. Okay. And then I have my save button. What I'm going to do is put the save button in the group which allows us to reset inputs as a last step. Whenever a button is in the same group as an input, if you say reset data, it knows which inputs to reset, the ones in the same group. Okay, now I can say, make changes to thing. It's the parent group's user. We've set up all of that data connection from the pop-up to the group. And now we can say job title is the input value, okay? Input job titles value. Now we don't just stop there. Now we can say reset inputs because the button is in the same group. Bubble knows that that's the input you're trying to reset and we can hide the pop-up. So quite simple. Let's try it. Let's 
Let's change Jamie Jackson's title to marketing exec. Save that. And there we go, change the data. Let's change Amber Cortez to HR intern. And then we've changed the data. So don't forget to display your data into these pop-ups and make sure that if you have any groups in the pop-ups, that those groups also have a data set set to the parent group's data.